Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at Dragon Lightning McQueen from the Cars Tune Mater's Tall Tales episode, Tokyo Mater. Before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. <clears throat> During Mater's Midnight Drift Race with Kabuto, you know, and Mater being and the latter of Mater being surrounded by Kabuto's ninjas, Lightning McQueen, Keith, voiced by Keith Ferguson in Owen Wilson's absence, showed up out of the blue in a as a tuner in dragon form and fought off every single ninja. And when he and Mater saw Kabuto heading to the Tokyo Tower, they followed him, him and avoided oil slicks, which they were able to drift like an actual Japanese tuner, and, and huge pipes. And when they saw they were running out of road, Lightning gave Mater a boost into the air, here, which Mater took the lead from Kabuto. And at the end, Lightning and some more Japanese cars celebrated Mater's victory he, as the king of all the drifters and, and, and right to the point where Lightning McQueen states that it did not happen, which it actually did when Mater modify, was modified into a tuner, only the modifications were made from wood, by Guido. And, and I still believe, and I believe that Mater's story actually happened, considering, considering that Kabuto reappeared in Cars 2 back into his tuner modifications as if he stripped himself back into his tuner form for revenge against Mater. But tell me what you think in the comments down below. But anyhow, during his diecast releases, he was released three times as a single and in a two-pack with Drift Party Mater. And I got those two from a Myers store two days ago with Kabuto and his ninja. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we have his happy facial expression, his bright red paint job, tail headlight stickers, black Japanese dragon on a gold circle, or light yellow circle on the hood. And on both sides we have the gray rim, chrome gray silver rims with the yellow trimming on the black wall tires and the exhaust pipes and the orange and orange and yellow flames with the gray silver drag Japanese dragon. And on the top, no name signature or number ninety five. And a, and a spoiler, which is a Japanese tune for, Japanese, for a Japanese tuner, that is. And on the back, we have the red taillights and the red background with the orange flames and the red taillight stickers. And on the undercarriage, it says Thailand, Disney slash Pixar. 2022 Mattel. And now let's pull up some of the other Lady McQueens. We have Motoropolis Lady McQueen, Holiday Hotshot Lady McQueen, Tar Lady McQueen. Finish line ton Lightning McQueen. 
Ton line, ton in the air, Lightning McQueen. Regular Cars 1, Lightning McQueen. Cactus, Lightning McQueen. Dirt Track, Lightning McQueen. Monty, Lightning McQueen. Hudson Hornet, Piston Cup, Lightning McQueen. Alias, Cars 2, Piston Cup, Lightning McQueen. Lightning McQueen with Racing Wheels, alias WGP Lightning McQueen, or Cars 2 Lightning McQueen. Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen, alias RRC Lightning McQueen. Dracula Lightning McQueen. Cruisin' Lightning McQueen. Racerama Lightning McQueen, alias Radiator Spring Speedway Lightning McQueen. Radiator Springs, Lightning McQueen. 2017. Cars 3, Lightning McQueen. My all-time my all-time favorite variant from 2017. Lightning McQueen as the Easter Buggy. Lightning McQueen as Chester Whipple Filter. Road Trip Lightning McQueen, alias Cars on the Road Lightning McQueen in my case. Smell Swell Lightning McQueen, Superhero Lightning McQueen, Russ D's Lightning McQueen, Dynaco Lightning McQueen, and Deputy Lightning McQueen. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which Lightning McQueen variant is your favorite? For me, I'd say the Cars three, the regular Cars Three Lightning McQueen, because this one is my all-time favorite from 2017. And do you still wish and desire for the regular, actual Tokyo Mater to receive a re-release as a diecast, even as a single or in a two-pack? Let me know what you think, as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye now!